A340 depressurization and pressurization of a hydraulic reservoir. This film presents the depressurization and pressurization of the hydraulic reservoirs. The procedure being the same for the three reservoirs, the green one is shown as an example. The same applies for both the A340 and the A330. We consider that the ground service network has been energized. In the cockpit, make sure that there is no pressure in the bleed system. Make sure that the green hydraulic system is depressurized and put it in the maintenance configuration. Put a warning notice in position on panel 245VU so that nobody can pressurize the related hydraulic system. On the avionics compartment panel 721VU, open, safety and tag the green hydraulic pump control circuit breaker. Open the left main landing gear door. Open the green ground service panel 197CB. Warning! Before continuing the procedure, protect your hands and face from the air which comes out when you open the reservoir manual depressurization valve. There could be a risk of burns from hot gas and contamination from hydraulic fluid. On the green ground service panel, turn the cap of the depressurization valve 90 degrees clockwise to the open position. Listen to check that all the air is released. In the left main landing gear bay, check the depressurization on the green reservoir air pressure gauge. Note, keep the depressurization valve open until you have completed the maintenance operation to prevent accidental pressurization of the reservoir. Close the depressurization valve when the maintenance operation is completed. Put the aircraft in the configuration corresponding to the next operation. The reservoirs will be automatically pressurized when the bleed system is supplied or by using the charging points located on the blue hydraulic service panel.